My name is Hannah Maggio. I've been a Christian my whole life. I grew up in church. Um, I got saved when I was 10 years old and I got baptized when I was 10. I've always had a relationship with God, but I still had strongholds in my life that were holding me back from being who I really was supposed to be in God. And I, had no, I really had no idea until about a year ago. I was engaged and in a relationship and that relationship ended. And after that, um, God basically told me, you have to get rid of fear. And I had no idea how it was hindering me so much. Over several weeks, I decided, I made a decision that I was gonna be obedient to him and completely trust him in every area of my life. I ended up being attacked emotionally and I ended up in my bed for two days um, crying out to God. I was completely heartbroken still and I just prayed for God to make me feel loved because I knew he loved me but I didn't feel it. Uh, after the two days of laying in my bed I had to go to work and as a nurse and so I went to work to start my shift. I had no idea how I was going to get through my shift because I had no sleep uh, and I was completely exhausted. Around midnight one of my patients called me into his room. He looked over at me and he asked me a question and he said, you know Jesus don't you? I could feel the Holy Spirit on you when you walked in. He proceeded to tell me um, that I had a beautiful smile that lit up the room, but that he knew that I was extremely heartbroken and nobody would know that, but I was extremely heartbroken and extremely wounded and hurt by someone very close to me. And I said, absolutely, you're right. And then he stopped and he said, but this was a fiance. I just started crying because I knew that God was telling me something through this man. And I turned back around and I didn't say anything and he just proceeded to tell me. Um, he said, God wants you to know that he loves you so much and that he's seen you in your bed crying and he's heard all of your prayers. And he wants you to know that he has everything under control and he's gonna take care of you. He um, ended up prophesying to me for about 45 minutes and that was one of the most um, life-changing 45 minutes of my whole life and I'll never forget it um, because it truly changed me. Um, because I walked out of that hospital room and I knew that God was holding me and it was like he was wrapping his arms around me and saying, I have you, I love you and I'm gonna take care of you. Just trust me. It's the most love that I've ever felt in my life and it's the most security that I've ever had in my life knowing that God loved me so much that he would go to the extremes of telling a patient of mine that's laying in a hospital bed that he loves me and to tell me that he sees everything that's happened and that he sees me, he sees my hurt and he cares about my hurt and that he's there to make it better. It changed every area of my life. I was completely different after that moment.